Ah, buggy whips. So many uses. Okay. Maybe that'll work. Now we did kind of drill into the aluminum a bit here, I see. All right, so that's just minus 5,200. But once again, we got this, this foggy, drizzly, wet weather. So I've got to wait for things to dry out before I can do that. Here's the starboard seacock. Well, it looks to be in pretty good shape. And I just wipe that off and slather some more grease and put it right back in. Annual haul-outs come with many routine tasks, which I have to do every year. And I've already filmed many of them. All right, let's get So I'm not going to refilm them in this video. However, one such task I did film, which is to clean and grease the seacocks to the cockpit drains. And I just did that, cleaned them, put them back in, and I've shut the valves off, and now I'm going to test by filling the cockpit up with water. Okay. Check down below, see if it's leaking inside at all. Okay. No, I don't see anything. And on this side... No, I don't see any leaking. All right, port side is dry. And, ooh, a little bit. That might have been left over from the rain, though. Let me just... No, that doesn't seem to be leaking. Because it was raining earlier, so that could be. No, I don't see any water coming through there. And finally, let's open the valve up and see if the cockpit actually drains. It appears we're in luck here. Meanwhile, back with the new lower gudgeon to the trim tab. I've just drilled uh, the holes through for the bolts two quarter twenty bolts through the end of the rudder and now I'm trying to get the bolts through it's trickier than you think trying to drill straight when you're going through a fair bit several inches of material there and as always once again test for fit Now I'm going to fill both the new holes and the old holes with epoxy. So first I use my vacuum just to uh, clean out any debris. And the new holes are drilled uh, oversize. So those are 3 8 inch holes for quarter 20 bolts. So I'll drill the new holes with a quarter inch drill and that'll leave an epoxy sleeve on the inside for the bolt to go through. The idea here is to make little funnels and so hopefully that uh, will funnel the epoxy in and then just fill the holes up with epoxy because it's a uh, removing this rudder is a very difficult job so I should be able to do it this way the reason for filling the holes with epoxy is that the, the rudder is wood encased in fiberglass so you want to prevent any water from getting into that wood core uh, otherwise, it might expand and crack the fiberglass. So I just test removed tape on the other side, and the epoxy is indeed filling. It's flowing right through. So that's what we want. One reason I rarely use the scaling ore anymore is just because I, I have trouble getting any power from it. I think one of the problems is is that the blade is just too narrow. And uh, it's really just the bottom half of the blade is where you get all your thrust from. So I'm going to attempt to widen it and uh, also make it a little more hydrodynamically efficient. And hopefully that will improve the efficiency of the ore from scowling. So 
So first adding wood to the edges there. Slathered both, uh, both faces with epoxy. And clamp it. And let it set up overnight. So the epoxy's had an overnight cure, and now I go at the fairing process, starting off with my crosscut saw. Just cut notches in it, which will help guide the chisel, so that I can chisel away the excess wood, the wastage. And doing that a little bit gingerly there. Just testing how strong, how good of an epoxy bond I got. And now I'm going to shape the edge. And then I go at it with the bevel plane. And finally the orbital sander. Next up is to fill and fair uh, where the old lower uh, gudgeon was. So I'm wetting that out with straight epoxy and then I'll add some epoxy mixed with 407 which turns it into a fairing compound. Also added some of that fairing compound onto my ore. Now it's time to drill the new bolt holes. And doing that carefully, making sure I stay within the epoxy section. And looks like the bolt holes need a little more widening there. Can't quite get the bolts through. I've also completely encased that lower gudgeon in fiberglass roving and epoxy, which will hopefully keep it dry when it's underwater. Lo, I just got a call from the sheriff. They say that they have found my dinghy. So it sounds like we're going to finally get some nice weather next week. That's what Cherry said. It's supposed to break. And... This, is, uh, this is the old firehouse. This is right next to the Bailey Island General Store. Uh, did we pass it? We just passed the Bailey Island General Store. All right. Andrew's behind me. He's looking too. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was the Bailey Island General Store is what it said. The Island General Store. Is, is that is that a barn? That's a post office right there. Left. And, and they, they said the sheriffs were there just a minute ago, so that's got to be it. Your fire department is supposed to be red. Yeah, <laughs> you would think so. All right, a little, a little dirty, but no, no damage. Okay. Yeah, it looks like most, mostly just uh, they, yeah, they, they threw her in the. Looks like they threw her in the woods there. They had it in the woods. What's that? Yeah, in, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, I don't see any damage, so I think we're, uh, I think we're good here. Baby Ruth, we've come to take you home.
consider supporting this channel by becoming a patron. As a patron, you will be able to view my videos free of ads. You will also be able to leave comments, ask questions, and message me directly. You can become a patron for as little as $5 a month. 